Okay, so in this video we're looking at dice problems. Um, and when you're looking at a dice problem, the uh, first thing you always remember is that there are six possible outcomes when you roll a regular dice. One, two, three, four, five, and six is what's showing on the top. Uh, if you roll a dice twice, there are actually 36 possible outcomes. So you could get a one with the first dice and a one with the second, a one with the first and a two with the second, a one with the first and three with the second. And so we actually calculate that by doing um, six times six, which is... 36 outcomes. And actually you can look at all the outcomes in this chart. Now I've used this chart to um, calculate the sums, but you can use this chart for a lot of different ways where roll one is on top and roll two is on bottom and you fill things in. So you could either fill them in as ordered pairs um, where like you know this one here would be one comma one and this one would be roll one you got a one and two you got a uh, roll two you got a two and one comma three and so you can use a chart like this in a lot of different a lot of different ways but I've used it for the sums uh, when you look at the sums one thing that's a, nice to notice on these sums is that there's a really nice pattern there's exactly one way to get a two to get a three you can get two ways to get a four there are actually three ways to get a five there are four ways to get a six. There's going to be five ways to get a seven. There are six ways. And that is the most uh, ways that you can get any one sum. And then it starts going down from uh, starting with uh, eights to five, four, three, two, one, where there's only one way to get a 12. So I actually like to remember um, a chart that says rolling a two, there is one way. Rolling a three, there is two ways. Rolling a four, there are three ways. And if you can remember this, it makes any sum problem involving with uh, two dice. Now, notice with eight, we start going back down. Uh, but it makes any sum problem involving two dice very easy to calculate. And we'll show you in just a second how to do that. Um, and so with 12, there's one. And so it's this pattern where it goes up from one to six and then down to, back down to one. Okay, a couple examples involving dice problems. First one, what is the probability of getting a sum of 10 when rolling two regular dice? Well, you think about your chart, and on your chart, uh, there are exactly three ways to get a sum of 10. If you wanted to list them out, you could, and some people like to do that. Um, if you listed out your, your ways, it would be 4-6, 5-5, uh, five, five, and 6-4. Uh, order does matter on these because with, with the way we calculate it. So uh, there are three ways to get it. If there are 36 total ways, remember probability is the number of positive ways, 3, over total, which is 36. And so there's a 1 12th probability of getting a roll sum of 10. Uh, what's the probability of getting a sum less than 6 when rolling two dice? Well, remember the, the pattern. Uh, if you go back up here, getting less than 6 would be these. And so there are 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 ways to get a sum less than 6. Well, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is just 10. And so the probability is 10 out of a total possible, which is 36. Always simplify. That simplifies to 5 out of 18. And then the last one was the probability of rolling two even numbers. Again, we can go look at the chart. First, we look at... Um, We'll erase this to make it a little bit easier. We look at uh, roll one. If we want to get an even number with roll one, then we're going to look at this column, and even uh, or this column, or this column. Since they both need to be even numbers, and we need to look at this column, this column, and this column. Well, it turns out where those intersect are all the places where both of the numbers rolled are um, even, and so there are nine ways, if you count them, to roll two even numbers, and so it's nine out of 36, which is one-fourth. The other way to do it is to realize, you can use some counting theory, that there are three even numbers, and so there's three times three, which equals nine ways to roll an even number. So that gives you some a, a flavor for dice problems and how you go about solving um, given specific information.